Today we will learn very quickly how to activate SAP Central Payments in Central Finance. So what you need to do is you have to get into your S4 HANA system. Uh, once you are in S4 HANA, then we have to go to this program. We have to go to SE38. And there is a program called FINS underscore CFIN APAR switch CPA switch. Step number one, you go here and it says activate. So here in general, if you are doing it first time, it will be deactivated. Check this box and save it. That's how you need to do. Mm, not a variant. Yeah, and you can see here the message with this setting the key is also added so in this table it will automatically add that you have activated central payment that's one and now of course this is at uh, system now as you know central payment can always be enabled by company code so we will see how that happens so you go to transaction cfin img you go to central payment node and here you see activate central payment the moment you go here you have a company code option you put your logical system you put your source company code system automatically pulls your target company code and then you have our option here central payment with tech consistency check active or you can only put tax consistency check active what the second option does is Second option does not activate your central payment. Second option only activate tax consistency check between source and target. And it is more relevant when you only want to do tax reporting from central finance system. However, you are still not activated central payment. So in those scenarios, this is more relevant. Otherwise, you have to, in the simple way, you have to activate central payment with tax consistency check act. You do that and you save it. So you, it gives you warning, which is okay, and data is saved now. So this way, central payment is active. However, at the same time, you have to little do little bit more. Uh, you have to click on this button in cross system process control. This is now mandatory. You go here. You always have to select your source system and process type as CPay. That's how you activate central <coughs> payment for cross systems now. So basically these are the three steps and uh, after this your central payment is active uh, you can start using central payment and the concept of central payment is pretty simple that your invoices in source system will be technically cleared and your invoices in target system will be open for payment so that's how central payment works i hope this will give you some information and very important here is uh, this program and table. As you can see here, system says to use you need to enable with this setting is added to this table. So if I open this table, here, SE16N3, as you can see, three central payment has been active at what time and by whom so it is very it is date and time stamp are managed here i hope this helps you in your projects and if you have more questions feel free to put as a comment in the comment section of the video thank you